Zimbabwe's President Emerson Umnangagwa is coming under increasing pressure to address human rights abuses committed by the nation's security forces. Some question his commitment to resolving these abuses since they claim he is delaying the appointment of commissioners for the Independent Complaints Commission ICC. Umnangagwa signed the Zimbabwe Independent Complaints Commission Act into law last year with the intention of looking into and prosecuting security service personnel who had committed misbehavior. The action was taken in response to many reports of violations of human rights and claims that security staff members engaged in partisan behavior while doing their jobs. But the president's tardiness in appointing ICC commissioners has fueled doubts about his political will and sincerity in addressing the matter. Omningadwa has been given till November 30th to respond to the Zimbabwe Lawyers for Human Rights ZLHR or Risk Legal Action. The ZLHR charged the president of breaking Section 6 of the Independent Complaints Commission Act through attorney Coast Sam Q. The argument put up was that the public's constitutional protection is undermined by the delay in selecting commissioners since the complaints mechanism is left unstaffed and unable to address complaints against security service personnel who act improperly. Nespert Manyuki, a resident of Harare, was represented by Q who stressed that legal action would be taken to guarantee that complaints are resolved. A rising number of activists and human rights campaigners feel that the government is not doing enough to hold the security forces responsible for their acts. And the threat of legal action is a reflection of this discontent. Romeo Chaucera, a political analyst, emphasized the lack of political will to confront these violations of human rights. Noting that the government has consistently demonstrated a reluctance to act against security personnel implicated in such abuses. The public's confidence in the government is damaged and an atmosphere of impunity is maintained when offenders are not held accountable. Zimbabwe has been under international attention because of persistent claims of violations of human rights. Human rights organizations have condemned the alleged arbitrary detentions, torture, kidnappings, and arrests carried out by security force members. There are still requests for an independent probe even though the administration disputes these claims.